Okay, everybody. First episode of Fun of the Tatish. We're kicking it old school. And we're going Bush leave you. Or Bush leave douche. Or uh, I like to say Bolos leave those. It's a Portuguese bread little thing. My girlfriend loves them. We're going to make them for her today. Let's get started. So what you first is going to need is you're going to need some nice nice flour. Four cups, four cups of flour. One cup of sugar. Quarter of a, an ounce of yeast. Uh, we got a quarter of a cup of melted cooled butter. This is a cup of milk. Two nice eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the yeast. Oh, we also got a cup of water. You need the water. So we're gonna put the yeast right into the water and let that get a good ferment. Now yeast is a son of a bitch, so you gotta use your finger a little bit and get that nice, nice, all of that yeast. You want all that yeast. Pinch your sugar. You put it in the yeast. The yeast is like now on steroids. A little sugar in there. Get yourself a fork or an assistant. I don't know what my assistant is today. Try it up. I call this a little pre-ferment. Mmm. Nothing bad. Now you want to take the flour with the sugar and with the salt and you want to put you want to hold back on your liquids we'll put all the butter in there hold back on your liquids you can always add more you can never take away it's another thing they tell you it's supposed to be these little circle things well I only got this griddle black and decker it's pretty good but we're gonna have to make little rectangles the yeast has started to uh, activate. We're going to take that. Also, hold back a little bit. You want to put it all in. And then what you want to do, you don't want to get your hands dirty. Take yourself a little spatula. And you want to mix all that together. And as you can see, it's a little, it's getting there, but it's a little dry. We can add more milk. We also have to add our eggs. But you want to get a good base going before you add those eggs. So I'm going to go a little more on the milk. Mix that up. Mix that up nice, nice. I'm going put those eggs in there. Knead the eggs. Where'd you get all these little jars? You got to have yourself a Portuguese woman. She goes to the, all the thrift stores and she goes to all the yacht sales. She goes talk to this Maria, that Maria, and excellent. Can always add more milk. Pour it in there, pour it up, pour it up. Also, we have a little more of the ferment. And it's supposed to be a little sticky dough. Don't be afraid if it's a little sticky. You want it to be a little sticky. Uh, I don't mean to say this word to everybody. Gluten. Because I know how people feel about gluten. But gluten is a protein that's found in flour. And when you mix with it and you play with it, make strands. Those gluten strands, they start to bind the more you mix together. Over here, playing around, li -li -li, gotta bring them together. That's what mixing up something does. You gotta let it cool down, you gotta let it rise up. She's crazy. It was funny though. And Back to the fucking fun of potatoes. So, once you let it rest, you let it rise, the dough. You're for the, talking? For, for the boost. Yeah, I'm fucking talking. You, you covered I had to call in, I had to call in uh, Glenda. She is the spouse of the fun of potatoes. She's also the cleaning lady, which I need you to start cleaning. <laughs> so, hurry right, up. Also, ran out of flour. I had to run to the market to go grab flour. Perfect time though. You want to get some nice flour. I use a little bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour. And you want to dust your... Yeah, I'll bring you over. 
and I'll bring you over. You want to dust the dough, nice, nice, and then we're going to chop it into sections, and then we're going to roll the dough. Now what this is called, it's fermenting, you roll the dough, and then you let it rise again, that's called proofing. And that's what we're going to do with these little bolos, levolos. Tell the viewers at home how to say it for real. Oh, bolos levados. Because we live in Minnesota, we can't get bolos levados from Furnas. And we brought some last year. We brought like uh, a half dozen. And they were so good. It's a little bread that comes from this town called Good. So we got the recipe. <laughs> I got the recipe. Ben is an amazing chef. So he They can, don't give a shit. So he can cook anything and he makes them so perfect. And the you know the key is low heat because you want them to have a little brown on each. Not even there yet. We're not even there yet. <laughs> and so so uh, yeah, Bulge Livch, it's a delicious little sweet bread, but it's not sweet bread, it's it's just a little delicious bread. I love it. With a little Montega, you know, we drive by there, you have to get them, they're so delicious, but because we live in... Whose fucking show is this? <laughs> yeah, see, when you talk like that and you start saying stuff like that, it's hard to end. You just want the camera to end, the camera's still rolling. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get even-sized pieces. I don't have a scale, I'm not trying to scale nothing out here. You do have a scale. Where? On a bit. Where is it? I know how to scale, but I gotta send her to go get it. So. No way! Just so you guys know. When did I get that? Whenever you like want a boyfriend, a husband, whatever, make sure you learn about the I don't know syndrome. So Ben, I, other boyfriends, husbands, no and men. They'll be like, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. And then you go and you find it. It's yeah, it's just like when we're sitting on the toilet taking a shit. Really, we just don't want to vacuum. <laughs> vacuum every day because the house is dirty. No shit. Every day. Who vacuums every day? You. So this is what they look like. They're a little brown on the outside. Um, but just so good, so good. I'm going to do the dishes now because that's, yeah. oh, that's what you're here for. That's my contribution. Yeah, it does make a lot of noise. Use the thing right here. That's the water you get to use, just like back in the olden days. <laughs> in 2020. No one gives a shit what year you live in. We all live in 2020. We do. You got to put the camera in the same spot. It is. What do you mean the same spot? The same spot. Did you have an X on the ground? This ain't no Hollywood Studios nonsense. <laughs> so, thanks for bringing in the camera, camera lady. So, when you cut the dough, you know, obviously it's misshapen. But when you play with it a little bit, you like knead it. That flour kind of absorbs into the, the dough. And you can kind of shape it into a little circle. Now it has leavened a little bit. And then I'm going to plop them in a pan. How long is that going to take? <laughs> it's going to take a while. <sighs> Smoking hot. When you have the dough and it rises a little bit, you want to flatten it out like so. You want to flatten, give it a good flatten, flip it over, same thing, flatten, flatten. And with that excess flour, you can put it right in the cast iron skillet. Like so. You want to kind of flatten them out because you want more surface area on them. If they're too plump, they're not going to cook in the middle. And you want them to cook in the middle. On a two, whatever the fuck that means, it's probably about 
maybe 200 degrees. It's a dough that you're trying to... Let's crack one of these Larry's open. Looks pretty good. Show us again. It's not clear. Okay, we'll just say it's not clear. You don't have to whisper it. <laughs> I forgot. You know what would make this taste so much better? Cheese! So, us poor cheese people love our cheese. So. Us Americans love our cheese, so. <laughs> That's why I'm fat as shit. Because you eat too much, too much cheese and bread. Yeah. So, muffins aren't as sweet. Um, eat. Cheese! <laughs> uh, so, it, they're delicious because they're just, just enough sweet. This cheese we have is cheese from Germany. And it's made from... Milk of cows that only eat grass or pasture. And it's it's rind is soaked in Merlot wine. Oh, it's so good. It's not really good for making grilled cheese though. It's more good, it's better for just eating like this. The perfect grilled cheese cheese is Portuguese cheese. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. What's your favorite grilled cheese cheese? Swiss. Just kidding, everyone. I don't like That's Swiss gross. cheese. I don't like That's Swiss gross. cheese. I don't like That's Swiss gross. cheese. Uh, it's definitely sharp cheddar. Mm -mm. The yes. Portuguese cheese beats all the cheeses. Sharp cheddar beats all the cheeses. I don't utilize the right temperatures, that's my problem. Would you leave your kid out in a uh, 110 degree car? No, but my kid you is probably not... probably don't love him. <laughs> Got her. My kid's not a bread. Are you crazy? Just saying. Yeah, look at that steam. Here, let's zoom in on it. Come closer, come closer. Get in the lens. You see that steam? Oh yeah. Oh, we could see it. Is that a trick you Ice cube? Yeah. I just thought of it now. 